is that we know now that genetic info that uh, uh, natural selection reduces genetic information. We know that for a fact. Okay, I give up. Please name just one scientist out there who ever said otherwise. <sighs> And we also know that mutations do happen, but when mutations happen, we know that there's a lot of problems with it. For example, um, you can, you can, it's just, uh, the 4,400 generations of mutations, uh, after the, uh, they realized that they were not able to, call, to, to, uh, so I see that language is not your first language. You know, my, my lunch speaks more eloquently than you do. Just what the bloody fuck are you trying to say, and why didn't you figure that out before you turn your camera on? Have these 4,400 generations of mutations to introduce back into the population of the species. They would die off. There's something inside of the, 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 the genes the, 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 that, that's programmed into them that seems to have an erasing effect on the genes. Oh, good bloody grief. A creationist that has absolutely no idea how evolution works, has absolutely no idea what evolutionary theory says, and of course, therefore, he's going to make a video on the subject. Number one! And I'm only counting to one because that's all I need, but I wanted to go number one in this video anyways. Mutations, innate genomes, population, when they are neutral, which they almost always are, will stay in that population if it becomes fixed. That is, if the individuals with a mutation are reproductively successful in the population, the mutations will persist in that population. The individuals with a specific uh, mutation can and do die out all the time. That mutation, therefore, does not become fixed in the population, so therefore that mutation does not persist in the population. The mechanism by which mutations are often removed from a population is called natural selection. Nobody expects mutations to accumulate in a population because not all individuals will carry that mutation, any specific mutation. Mutations happen all the time in individuals. If the individuals do not pass on those mutations, the mutations will be removed from the genome. How the bloody fuck is this a problem for evolutionary theory, let alone evolution? <sighs> um, and there's, there's multiple problems. It's just not some things. It's, it's, it's huge things. That's right. There are a massive number of problems in what you believe evolutionary theory says. It has absolutely nothing at all to do with ev what evolutionary theory actually says. It has absolutely nothing at all to do with scientists, what they say evolution is and how it works. The problems are in your head, not in evolutionary theory, not in the heads of scientists. If you change a species to the extent that that uh, that borderline just ridiculous like uh, I don't know English bulldogs and some cows that farmers are trying to breed see what I mean to, to gain more milk uh, you get huge problems with that once you breed a species to the extreme it seems that they they begin to get sickly they begin to to, to have huge phys physiological problems that cause it to to die Number one, I'm only counting once again to number one. Natural selection is totally, vastly different than human selection. What humans do is not natural selection. Natural selection selects for reproductive success. Humans, on the other hand, has specific desired traits that we find in populations out there that we select for does not have to be sexual reproductive success it could be as you gave an example more milk production we then come along and we modify the fucking ecosystem that these selected four species live in so that natural selection doesn't select against them <sighs> good fucking grief 
two totally, totally different things entirely. Dog breeds. Humans select the desired traits. Wild species out there. Natural selection does that. Totally fucking different. Natural selection removes genetic diversity from a genome of a population. Human selection does the exact same thing at a massively accelerated rate. To mention human selection in the same breath as natural selection is intellectually dishonest. So, here, so here's the point. The point is, you have absolutely no idea what the bloody hell you were talking about. You are attacking that which no scientist says is true. Because, you know, it is, oh, so much easier to attack an imaginary position that is not at all defended. Much easier than attacking in a position that scientists do defend. Like I said, gutless. Gutless intellectual coward. Here's an, another point I, sh I should say. Um, for you to change to uh, Homo habilius to uh, Homo erectus. Homo habilius? Like the Homo hillbilly? He's got a corner on Hollywood Boulevard that for $40 he'll be your friend? Homo habilius?